What will happen if Loctite Red 271 is heated in a toaster oven? Let's find out. Two drops of Loctite 271 were applied to 3 8 inch 16 TPI zinc plated nuts and bolts. Three control samples were assembled. These were cured for three days but not heated. Three more samples were cured for three days and then heated in a toaster oven. Three days later, three final samples were assembled. These were immediately heated and then allowed to cure for three days. Now, before you drop a negative comment, a loose nut on a bolt is one way that Loctite tests the adhesive strength of its thread lock products. If you don't believe me, a link to a Loctite video is in the description below. Three days later, the two sets of samples were locked. Loctite 271 was then applied to the third set and both the second and third sets were heated in the toaster oven. The thread lock temperature range is up to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. I set the temp setting to 200 degrees and the temp eventually settled to a range of 200 to 210 degrees. Loctite Red 271 was applied to the third set and was immediately placed in the toaster oven along with the second set. The six samples were heated for one hour at 200 degrees Fahrenheit. After one hour, the toaster oven was turned off and left to gradually cool as I grabbed lunch. After lunch, the samples were removed for the breakaway torque testing. First, the control samples that were cured for three days and not heated were tested. Fourteen point eight, fifteen point seven, and sixteen point six foot pounds. Next, set two samples that were cured for three days and then heated for an hour. Twenty seven point eight, twenty six point two, and thirteen point five foot pounds. Something went wrong with that last sample. Three days later. Set three samples that were immediately heated for an hour and then cured for three days were tested. 16.6, 17.6, 16.2 foot pounds. Here are the compiled breakaway torque results. The low result in the second set of samples was removed and the averages calculated. The second set of curing and then heating the samples came out on top. The average was a huge 72% increase over the control average. The third set average was just a 7% improvement over the control. So allowing the thread locker to fully cure and then heating it may increase its bonding strength.